Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, I am going to show you stack operation into R microcontroller. The R architecture uses a load store multiple instruction to carry out a stack operation. A stack has a two type of basic operation, which is a pop operation and a push operation. Pop operations take out the data from the memory. data from memory that's mean from the stack and the push operation put the data in the stack and the stack is a kind of memory and this pop and the push operation is being handled by load multiple and store multiple instructions. So the pop is being handled with LDM instruction and the push is being handled with STM instruction. But here we have addressing type into our into our uh, stack operation which is known as addressing mode. So let's say memory into our microcontroller is organized something like this. Okay, and this is the lower end of the memory, and here we have higher end of the memory. So in our microcontroller, we have two options: either we can initialize our stack here at the lower end, or we can initialize our stack at the higher end. If we initialize our stack at the lower end, then stack will grow in upward direction. That's mean till to, to the higher end. And if we initialize our stack at the higher end, then it will shrink to the downward. That's mean toward the lower end of the memory and which is a part of the RAM. Okay. Right. Now let's try to understand this with an example. The example is like this. We have a code here which says that R1 is 0x002 and we have R2 also. R2 is equal to 0x00 and 001. So what happened here? Let's say we have our stack pointer address also which says that 008 and then double zero one four and let's say our stack pointer is at this address stack is pointing this address and if we execute this instruction which says that stm that's the store multiple fd fd is the full descending and this says that sp and exclamation mark says that it will auto increment the address of a stack pointer and then we are asking to save the register r1 and the register r2 so what happens the first time it stores register r1 at the address of this and that is here so the very first time it stores one two three and the four okay and of course this is the full descending if you see this is the full descending that's when it comes here zero minus one minus two okay so it is stored here into descending uh, direction where it is stores the value at this location the value of r1 and r1 is zero x zero two okay and then again it descends to the four more address which is this one and then it is stored here r2 the r2 will be stored here and that is 0x01 so this is the addressing mode into the stack so we have four type of addressing mode here and those addressing mode is FA that is the full ascending and we have FD is the full descending 
and here we have ea ea is empty ascending and last one is we have ed and the ed is empty descending so in the same way we can write an instruction like ldm that is the load multiple with the full ascending here we can write ldm fd load multiple with full descending and the similarly we can say load multiple with empty ascending and the load multiple with empty descending and the similarly we can apply this for stm fa the store multiple into the full ascending and store multiple into full descending and here store multiple with empty ascending and again store multiple with empty descending and this type of the load instructions is kind of pop operation and the store is kind of push so the pop will load the data from the memory from the stack and the push operation will store the data into the memory that is the stack right so when stack uh, will be used when processor when processor changes the state or function called or interrupt occur then processor saves current status of processor then processor saves the current status of the processor in a stack pointer in a stack okay so in that case we need to use this type of instructions in fact the processor automatically saves the status into stack pointer but suppose that if we want to save some extra resistors or some extra values into a stack pointer into the stack and later we want to get those value we can do like this and the arm has arm has a standard to use a stack pointer and uh, to to call the function and that is known as atpcs which is stands for arm thumb arm thumb procedure call standard arm thumb procedure call standard right so this procedure tells how routines will be called and the registers will be allocated to any function right now let's try to understand this with an another example let's take an one more example to uh, try to understand this with uh, push operation uh, sorry with the pop operation earlier this is then this is the push operation that's when we are storing the data and now let's try to understand the another example in the same way but with a different addressing mode here we have a full descending right but now i am going to show you how uh, we can do with empty uh, descending okay so let's say here we have uh, instruction that is says stmed that is the store multiple with empty descending and we have here a stack pointer which says that the r1 and the r2 we are going to store and let's say we have here the memory location 
this is the memory location for pre-operation okay so this is the pre-operation memory location and let's say here we have another memory location which is the post-operation that's mean after executing this instruction then what happens so let's see the memory location this memory location is pointed by 0x 8008 and this one has 0x 800c and this one has 0x 80010. Uh, in fact, this is the triple C, and here is the triple zero eight. And let's say here we have zero x eight double zero one eight uh, one four. Right. So the similarly we have here. So what happens? The location memory location which is stores so at the 0x 08 let's say we don't have any data at 0c we don't have any data let's say we have a data at the location of uh, 0x 80014 and we have another data at the location of 0x 80018 okay so the 14218 if you see it, it it contains the four byte of the address okay right so here we have a data which says that the 0x01 and at this location we have a data 0x02 now what we are going to do let's say the r1 now this time r1 has data here let's say the 4 and r2 have a data of a 5 and if we execute this instruction this says that the empty descending so what it will do and let's say this is the empty then it will descend into empty direction and it will store rest of the data and uh, let's say here we have uh, address 18 and the 14 or 10 0, 0 c and 0 8 we already have a data here 0x01, 0x02 and it will first store R1 and uh, then it will store R3. Okay. So what will happen here? It will first store R1 here and then it will store R2 here. Right. So what happens? It, is, it starts storing the data from this direction. Okay. It starts from here so it starts from here and the stack pointer location is here SP so it first stores R2 and the R2 is 5 then 0x05 will be stored here and then it comes from R2 to R1 and then it stores R1 that is the 4 0x04 right great and after the execution of this one then stack pointer finally pointed out here after the execution of this instruction the stack pointer comes here and then you can write another code or another instructions to execute with the pointer so this is all about in this lesson in which we have discussed about the stack pointer and its operation into our microcontroller and we have also discussed about the addressing modes there are four different type of addressing modes available into our microcontroller such as full ascending full descending empty ascending and empty descending so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel bye bye have a nice day